let's be clear whenever something new happens a new technology happens you have something for the short term so this private cloud is only for the short term it's not going to go on forever so let's be clear on that five years later in my opinion there will be no private cloud now see let's re-revise what the cloud is now what the cloud is is today I can take one two three four computers and on these computers what what did I show you yesterday I showed you Vista on Vista I ran a program called VMware now VMware allows us to create virtual machines so under VMware I created a virtual machine which was Windows 7 so I'm running Windows 7 over VMware VMware is running under Vista Vista is talking to hardware now this entire process is very slow why because Windows 7 talks to VMware VMware talks to Vista Vista talks to the hardware so what most companies did was and Zen and KVN are two standard examples they said what does VMware do it basically introduces a virtualization layer so why don't we write that software ourselves and make sure it doesn't run an operating system it is the operating system so what is a hypervisor it is a virtual memory or a virtualization manager that doesn't need an operating system run out it is the operating system so now on this computer here you don't have an operating system what do you have you have a hypervisor and on top of this hypervisor you now do what you run Windows Linux Unix or whatever operating systems you want simple so VMware even it doesn't run on what on an operating system it's called a hypervisor so now now on these four machines I now run a hypervisor Zen is an open source hypervisor Citrix is the commercial version VMware gives you a hypervisor lots of people have hypervisors now I make the make sure these four machines connect to each other through a cable an optical fiber cable so now by doing that it becomes a cluster it becomes logically one computer for me now none of these computers have a hard disk why because hard disks are slow so I create a, a separate network only of hard disk connected to a computer we can call that a SAN or a storage area network and the two networks can communicate now this this what I what I described to you is called a cloud so what do we call this a cloud okay now if this is a cloud what has Amazon done they didn't write a hypervisor they use Zen, Zen hypervisor okay. and they publicly said this is the way we have built our cloud okay. so now and on a practical case Zenith Infotech has come out with their cloud it's called proud that's a private cloud okay so next month when I conduct a class on proud I am told to speak of the Amazon cloud like I did with you in detail so that Zenith can come and say whatever the Amazon cloud has proud is the same no difference at all what is the only difference between proud and the Amazon cloud the Amazon cloud is in America it's in Europe it's now coming to Singapore okay. now most people are going to say I don't trust Amazon for whatever be the reasons right I may not trust the networking I may not trust Amazon's technology how can I give my entire data center entire servers where to Amazon so I will create my data center in the next room so what they will do is they will go to Zenith and say you've got all the pieces together so you create a private cloud for me if they don't like Zenith they can go to VMware <coughs> and tell VMware what 
you install your hypervisor and the entire management piece on our servers. So if you, if you use the same technology through Amazon, it's a public cloud. Because Aptech, Hindustan Lever, Reliance all use the same cloud. But if you do it in your own premises and you own the hardware, what is it called? A private cloud. But he sitting here will not know what? The speed of the cloud depends upon the network connectivity. So from here to the next room, the network connectivity is poor. He would rather use the Amazon cloud. So between public cloud and private cloud, there is what? Absolutely no difference in the technology. The, the, the difference is in ownership. Does company own? Is it owned by Amazon? That is who owns the hardware. Now a lot of people come and tell you that the private cloud is an oxymoron. An oxymoron means when two words come together and they don't make sense. Now the big problem with the private cloud is that you got 30 machines. All right. So with 30 machines you can create 15 instances per machine. So you can create 450 instances. Somebody wants to run a job that needs 500 instances. What happens? Your cloud doesn't scale. So private clouds first problem is they don't scale as well as public clouds do. So that's what you have to understand. So the biggest benefit of the cloud is scalability, which doesn't happen where? With private clouds. All right? The benefit of private clouds is what? For companies, they own everything. It's their, it's their hard disk, it's their computers, their owners, nobody can close down. Now imagine if Microsoft closes down. Every other software company will close down before that. Right? So people are now saying, let's give it to Microsoft. Let's not give it to what? A chota mota player. So soon people will start moving where? Into, I mean, they'll have to use cloud technology. Why? Because if they don't use cloud technology, they're wasting money. So whether they use it in-house or they use it externally is a question of 